Did you know that Mean Jay almost didn't become an actor? Or his many friendships with famous idols and celebrities? Mean Jay is one of the most interesting actors at the moment, so here are seven little known facts about him. Quality education. Art has always been in Mean Jay's blood, and he worked very hard to be where he is today. He attended a music academy when he was in middle school, more specifically in third grade, where he studied composition and piano playing. This would come in handy for his future roles. His education continued to be oriented towards arts, even even after he finished middle school. Mean Jay graduated from the School of Performing Arts School, majoring in stage design, and is currently a student at Tongong University, which is the same school that big names like Han Bin, Lee Byung Han, and Park Shin Hye graduated from. It seems like Mean Jay is heading for their level of success too. A man of many talents. For all of you that think that Mean Jay has idol-like visuals, you are partially right because acting wasn't always his first choice when it comes to choosing a career. In fact, Mean Jay was a first-generation trained under CJ e &M. He didn't plan on being an idol either, but he passed the CNJ e &M audition and joined the company. So why didn't he debut? No matter how talented or dedicated he was, life came at him unexpectedly and he ended up changing career paths. That didn't happen before he got a small taste of the idol life though. To showcase his skills, he was a guest performer in one of ACE's concerts. He was also featured as a rapper in Puff Dae Jung's Ice Ice Baby stage performance, but that wouldn't be his only experience as a rapper, but but more on that later. He debuted as an actor in 2014, appearing in the drama I Need Romance 3, and then decided to pursue acting instead of being an idol. Though his experience as an idol really served him in his beginnings as an actor. Because of his training period, he was able to portray the roles of K-pop idols early in his career, moving on to bigger roles later when he became more experienced and the casting director started noticing his talents. Tough trainee life. Mean Jae joined CJ e &M when he was only 17 and passed the company's audition. He worked very hard for his debut, training for four years, and was amongst the members that were supposed to debut in CJ e &M's group along with actor Gi Min Sok, SF9's Yong Bin, and ACE's Dong Hoon and Jun. As a trainee, he was featured on music stages with other artists and appeared in numerous music videos. Min Jae was going to be the rapper of the group as well as the leader, but then he decided to switch career paths. As hard as he worked, he revealed that he didn't like the idol life, saying, The trainee life can be suffocating, but I can't upon a chance to receive acting lessons. It consisted of getting angry, crying, and cursing, and it was so fun. In reality, there's no way that situations in historical dramas can happen. But when I go to a filming set, it becomes reality. It's great that he is finally doing something he loves. Almost a rapper. You know how Mean Jae would be the rapper if his group ended up debuting? Well, if you were curious about his skills, then you can watch him in the first two episodes of the show, Show Me the Money. He decided to join the competition and was met with instant popularity even though his presence on the show was very short. In the very first episode, when the show was first introducing the contestants to the viewers, Mean Jae got tons of attention for his gorgeous visuals. Some even pointed out that he bore a close resemblance to actors Yeo Jin Gu and Song Joong Ki. But his visuals aren't the only thing that drew the viewers to Mean Jae, as he showed amazing skills as a rapper. Sunny, one of the judges, even ended up complimenting him after his performance, saying, you're really good at hip hop. Unfortunately, he got eliminated in the second episode. Episode. Since Mean Jae decided to act instead of pursuing his music career, we haven't seen him rap since then, but I'm hoping he gets to showcase his skills sometime in the future. Maybe in the role of a rapper or a cover of a song. Impressive friendships. Being an actor for eight years has gotten Mean Jae some pretty good connections and friendships in the industry. He doesn't only have friends that are actors, but he's also friends with plenty of idols. One of his closest friends is actually BTS's V. Another fact about Mean Jae is that he used to be part of the famous One Million dance studio that's located in Seoul. This is how Taehyung first became aware of him, and he even mentioned that he knew Min Jae before he became famous, as he used to watch his videos and think that he was very cool. Little did he know that they would end up being so close. The two then met at the gym, and the rest was history. Min Jae and Taehyung were also the first pair to appear on Celeb Bros, a variety show that was made to show the close friendships between different young Korean male celebrities. Taehyung also invited Min Jae to BTS's concerts. His other friendships include his past group Groups Kim Min Sok, SF9's Young Bin, and ACE's Dong Hoon and Jun, and A Pink's member Namju. They both, along with actress Kim Se Don, had a full on conversation about meals in one of Namju's posts on Instagram, which ended up with an invitation to have a meal together. In addition to all of these idols and actors, Min Jae is also close to Red Velvet's Joy. The two met when filming the NBC drama The Great Seducer, where they played each other's love interests. Their friendship continued beyond the set, even with the other castmates. Yes, Udo Han in his 
him are best friends on and off screen. At the beginning of 2022, he sent Dolhan a food truck when he was filming his drama Hunting Dogs to support and cheer him on. Friendship goals through and through. Experimental roles. Despite the fact that Min Jae has been an actor for a while, he's still getting to know what his acting style is. However, he said that his dream role is playing a clown during the Joseon dynasty in a historical drama. The reason why he wants to try and play such a weird role is because he wants to become a fun character. He also wants to do a lot of Korean traditional dances in his role or something similar to it. Since he had training as an idol and is a very talented dancer and singer, he'd nail the role. He did end up starring in a historical drama that was set during the Joseon era, but unfortunately for him, not as a clown, but as a physician for the royal family. He's doing an amazing job in the role of Yusef Bung, so I don't think that we have any room to complain. Another reason why he wanted to try a character that is passionate for dancing is because he loves the roles where he is doing something active. Min Jae also said that he wants to do as many different roles as possible in his 20s so his talents can improve by the time he's 30. Dedicated to the act. The cast director of Do You Like Brahms should have given a raise for the work that they did because they really got two of the most dedicated, talented actors in the lead roles. Park Eun Bin, who played the female lead, actually learned violin for the role. Min Jae did the same thing for his character because they both are that dedicated to perfecting their craft. Do You Like Brahms is a drama that revolves around students who are majoring in music at a prestigious university. Park Eun Bin took on the role of Choi Song Ha, who is a fourth year university student that's studying to become a violinist, while Min Jae plays the role of Park Jun Young, an elite pianist. Min Jae already knew how to play the piano before, but he had to seriously brush up on his skills before the drama officially started filming. Generally, he found the role very stressful, saying, There was a lot of pressure. It's hard enough to just play piano, but I felt a lot of pressure about acting as a pianist who wins competitions. I became good at playing the songs I played. The worst thing is, is that he didn't even have a lot of time to practice and had to spend his free time playing the piano in order to show the skills of his character in full. Min Jae shared, I had about a month and a half to practice before we began shooting, and I used that full time to practice. I really wanted to do well. He did so well that he actually ended up performing many of the music pieces himself and remembers some of them to this day. Min Jae also did his research and studied classical pianists such as Cho Song Jin and Son Yeol Noom in order to create habits and expressions for his character. He said that he watched videos of Cho Song Jin and other foreign pianists playing the piano and put aspects of them together to play his character and learned a lot since he wasn't very familiar with classical music. The more he learned in practice, the more he enjoyed it. He even ended up remembering some of the pieces, saying, I remember Rachmaninoff and Moonlight Sonata plus Happy Birthday too. Plum and I is unforgettable. That's the one that I practiced for the longest and I played it a lot. Min Jae also mentioned that he wished he could play piano for his fans at his future fan meetings. I hope we get to see that soon. That's it about Min Jae. Hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next time. Bye!